Curic Strata is a new specialty browser. It not only lets you browse the web, but it also lets you access and manipulate any data that you find on the web as well. For instance, you can grab web tables or RSS feeds or even open up CSV files directly from a URL. And then with that data, you can create calculations or sort or filter or create queries or reports or even develop scripts. All the kinds of analytical things you might do with a desktop database or a spreadsheet. First, let's take a look at how Strata handles web tables. So here we are at Swivel, which is a pretty cool website that lets people upload and share data. As we can see, there are various kinds of topics that are highlighted. Here's one about the Harry Potter films. Let's check this one out. What we've got here is a graph that shows how much money each of the films has grossed during their runs at the box office. Now the graph is nice, but let's say that we just wanted to add up the four films to find out what the total revenue was. So we go to the table view, which shows us all the raw data behind the graph. Now we could just add up these numbers manually, but with Strata, we select Import Table, and up pops our data. We see that we have the weeks in the box office, as well as the revenues that have accumulated over those weeks. Now one of the nice things about Strata is that it actually gives database structure to web data, and this offers all kinds of possibilities for actually using it. So let's just take a quick look at the structure of this table by switching our view. Here we see the field names, and at Strata auto sense that these fields were of numeric type. And we can also do things like change the field names, in this case to make them a little more concise. This would also be the place where you could change the data type, the field width, and the decimal places. Now we'll go ahead and save our changes and get back to the table view. Now that we've got shorter field names, we'll just resize all the columns. So let's see how we'd actually get the total revenues generated from these films. We'll do this by creating a calculated field. We'll change the field name to total, and we'll move it over to the right side. Now we'll simply just add each film together. As you can see, Strata gives you instant feedback as you type in your formulas. And there's our total. Now we also see that we've got some incomplete data here beyond 20 weeks. So we'll just go ahead and clean up this area by deleting these records. We'll confirm. And now we have a nice clean data set. So now that we've looked at the previous Harry Potter movie sales, let's see what kind of buzz the latest film is getting. We should be able to get a pretty good feel for this by seeing what's on Dig. Let's check out the entertainment section. Now we're going to look for any posts that mention Harry Potter. One way to do this is just to perform a quick search by entering our keyword and clicking enter. And here we see that there is indeed a reference just a few posts down the page. Now we could go on doing this type of search page by page, but because Dig has an RSS feed, we'll just use that data instead. So we'll click on the RSS feed icon and up pops the feed in a table format. So first, we'll just adjust a column so we can more easily see the post URLs. And now we'll create a quick calculation to help us determine Harry Potter's popularity on Dig. First, we'll rename the field. We'll call it Harry Potter. Then, we'll increase the field width. And finally, we'll adjust the column width. Now we'll create the calculation. First, we enter the article title. Then, in order to make sure we've got consistency, we'll change all the text to uppercase. And finally, we'll use the contains function to see if the article title contains the word Harry. And then we'll click OK. And, as expected, we see the article we originally found on the home page. Now we're just going to sort this table descending to group all the true results at the top. And we can see that there are in fact four article titles that contain the word Harry. As this RSS feed is only 40 records long, it means that at the moment, 10% of the most popular posts are about Harry Potter. Now that we've seen that the films have done very well financially, and that there seems to be a lot of buzz surrounding the new film, let's take a look at the stock price of Time Warner. So we're at the Yahoo Finance page that shows the Time Warner stock information. For comparison, let's also open up a page for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. On the left is the project tree. 
This is the place where you can save your bookmarks, tables, reports, and queries. So I'll go ahead and create a new tab and then open the bookmark I created for the DAO. If we look at these pages side by side, we can see they both saw similar percentage increases at yesterday's close. Now we might guess that this type of behavior happens a lot since the DAO works as an indicator of whether the market has gone up or down for a given day. So here's our task. Let's find out how many days the inverse situation happened, where one price went up and the other price went down. To do this, we just need to open up the historical data sets. Yahoo makes this data available in CSV format. The link to this file is called Download to Spreadsheet. But instead of downloading and then importing, Strategist opens it up directly. And now let's do the same thing for the Dow Jones data. Since we're trying to compare these two data sets, we'll tile our tabs so that we can look at them together. So now we have the Time Warner data on top and the Dow Jones data on the bottom. Now we can start creating our calculations. We're going to calculate the stock price percentage increase or decrease for a given day by comparing the opening and closing prices. So we'll take the closing price and subtract the opening price from it. Then we'll divide it by the opening price to get the percentage change. And finally, we'll multiply by 100 just to make it a little easier to read. And now we'll just copy this formula and do the exact same thing with the Dow Jones data. And now we have the percentage increase or decrease for each of these data sets. And now let's save both of these tables to our project. The first one we'll call TWX for Time Warner. And the second one we'll call DAO. Because we're going to combine these data sets, the next step is to create a relationship. So we go to the data menu and open the relationship manager. Then we'll drag in the tables we just saved. And then we'll link these tables together based on the date field. And finally, we'll click Update to set the relationship. Then we'll go back up to our data menu and tell Strata to filter only on the related records. Now for any given record in the Time Warner data set, we'll only see the corresponding record in the Dow data. Now that we have related data sets, things start to get a little more interesting. We'll open up the Time Warner field list, and we see all the expected columns, but because the table is related, we also see all the corresponding fields from the Dow data. And now we're going to take that calculated field from the Dow data and simply drag it into the Time Warner data. And now we get to see the two percentages right next to each other. And now we get closer to answering our initial question. The last step is to create a calculation based on these two fields that tell us if the percentages went in the same direction or the opposite direction. We'll do this by creating a calculated field, which we'll call direction. And we're going to use an if statement in our formula to determine if the direction was the same or different. Basically, if both prices went up, display the word same. Otherwise, display the word different. And finally, we just need to take into account when prices both went down at the same time. And there we have it. To make things easier to view, we'll just mark the different records in yellow. And then we can see these differences as we scroll through the table. And so the last thing is to find out the number of days where prices went in the opposite direction. As we can see in the bottom right, there are 3,860 records in this file. So we'll just do a quick filter to view only the records where the direction was different. And now we see there are 1,592 of those days, or just about 40% of the time. So that wraps up this screencast. 
Please feel free to download Strata, try it out, and let us know what you think. Thanks.